WRU Head of Rugby Josh Lucy recently unveiled the Rugby Department's strategy to underpin the long-term needs of the elite and community game in Wales. The launch also saw the Welsh national coaches hold sessions with Cowbridge Comprehensive. What's so exciting about today is everyone's had a contribution in terms of shaping it, both in terms of regional development managers um, and performance staff. We've got uh, the challenge of really driving uh, the system, making sure that schools, clubs, representative rugby can, can work can work in unison. But most specifically of all is the focus is on developing not just good rugby players but good people and making sure that, that we use the catalyst of the World Cup, catalyst of the successful national team in Rome, catalyst of what, as we all know, are fantastic role models um, in Wales at the moment and use those to connect to, to what we're, the messages we're pushing down into grassroots rugby as well. It's, it's a great, exciting time for, for not only myself, but for the school and for Welsh rugby in, in general. Um, the school itself has great history in rugby um, and has been crying out for something like this, as have a lot of schools and schools rugby in general. So in terms of the project itself, it's really exciting. This is probably the single most important initiative to go out to the governing body in my lifetime and uh, I welcome it with open arms. It's got a great plan. Uh, we, I'm, I'm here to support anything I can in regards to this. I'm very passionate about uh, uh, leaving, uh, leaving a legacy and creating a better future for, for young people. We have been at football school, but it's from a strong rugby heartland of years gone by, and the local rugby club was Hartridge Rugby Club that has, has recently been reformed. And I think one of the key things is a lot of youngsters within the, the region that have wanted to play rugby but just haven't had the opportunities and for us to have an initiative like this where we've got a designated resource that can come in, work with the pupils, work with our feeder schools and work with the, uh, the local rugby club as well is a fantastic initiative that um, I mean already we've had within our year seven that have started training there was 35 pu pupils that are training every Tuesday night they played their first game last night and there was probably about 150 people watching with parents and, and the, the pupils went home last night, they were absolutely buzzing all day, they couldn't wait for their first game and so it, it has re really reignited uh, a rugby community I think. Yeah, I heard the other day that you know, a school and a club started talking to each other for the first time in 15 years and, and if we can create that uh, link between the two then that is truly what uh, a community is and I think that uh, that's something which I uh, hope we can, can foster and develop and, and grow as the screen progresses. Identifying these players, um, making sure they understand diet, uh, strength and conditioning, um, and obviously uh, drilling basic skills, um, and have the chance to work on them daily um, on a one-to-one -one basis maybe, or um, in sort of dinner, dinner time clubs, or you know, any time, any time I can sort of work with them. Um, and yeah, it's going to it's going to it's going to take a few years, but uh, I think it'll be really beneficial for Welsh rugby. We need to back it. We need to get behind it because you know what, this is going to grow and grow. Uh, we're starting with 43 combinations at the moment and partnerships, but that's going to double very very quickly. And I've already warned uh, our Gwent contingent that where they're housed at the moment is going to be too small for them in three years' time. But that's great.